Hi, I'm Wani, I'm Nike Master Trainer and I've been teaching Pilates for over a decade. So today, we're going to go through a core Pilates workout for about 45 minutes. All you need is a mat, maybe a blanket or a towel, and a block or a book if you want to, to prop yourself up, uh, seated basically. So if you're ready, let's get down on the mat. Alright, so choose a sitting position. You can sit in a like, Japanese geisha position or if you've got the range, you can sit in a cross-legged position or if you find that you want to sit here but it's very tight, grab that block, take a seat. But I'm going to remove this. Okay, so place your hands uh, basically on your, uh, on your knees first. Okay, you can close your eyes over here if you want to. Alright, but what we're going to do is focus on the breath. Okay, and breathe in from the nose. And breathe out through past lips. So tighten your lips. It's okay to make the sound, it's fine. Alright, and breathe in. And exhale. So now we're going to transfer the hands. Your hands now go to your belly. Alright, so you want to place it right under your, uh, basically your ribs. Uh, one on your belly. Alright, so you're going to breathe in for about four counts. And as you breathe, you feel the lungs opening your rib cage, really opening side, back, and to the front. And on the exhale, make that sound, that's okay. Feel the ribs come together and feel the tightening of your abs. Good. One more time, breathe in. So make sure that your shoulders are not climbing up to your ears. And breathing out. We do one more. Now why we are doing breathing is because breathing is very, very important in Pilates. Um, and especially in the exhale. The way we exhale um, with the tight, tightened lips is for you to activate a little bit more of your core muscles. So tighten your abs, feel the deep core muscles coming in. Alright, perfect. Now we're going to go for a little bit uh, of a stretch over here, something called mermaid. I'm just going to put my props to the side. Okay. We're going to do something called a Z-sit position. Okay, So you've got your um, left leg turned in, right leg turned out. So your toes are facing the right side. Now, some of you might find that your hips are not sitting down onto the ground. So you may want to actually prop yourself back into the block or the towel, whatever that actually helps you um, get into this comfortable position. Right. And we're going to place your hands up on the mat. Okay. So we are going to the same direction where your toes are facing. Alright, so we're going to breathe in to lift your left hand up. On the exhale, we're going to do a side bend. Out here, stretch your arms, inhale, lengthen the spine up, exhale, lower your hands back down. And we're gonna go to the counter stretch and face the other side too. Okay, so breathe in, exhale, side bend over to the other side. You feel that the stretch here is slightly different, it's easier, and that's okay. Alright, now breathe in to lengthen. On the exhale, really focus on stretching the side, feeling the side bend through your arms and your ribs. Oh, lengthen up and hands back down. Alright, go again. Inhale, raise your arm up, making sure your shoulders don't lift up to your ears. And exhale, side bend here. Yeah. Good. Lengthen up, hands down one more time. We get a stretch also through your lower back. Inhale, exhale, we do a side bend. So this is a side stretch. Now we're going to get a back stretch by just rotating your torso, reaching that top hand out towards the front or down towards the floor. Um, changing and testing up your position, your angle, you'll find that oh, you might find a, a good spot for you to stretch your lower back. So do that. Okay, breathing in, lengthen up, exhale, return. Just a couple of stretch over here. Inhale and side bend, exhale. Breathing in, lengthen up, and exhale, lower down. Perfect. Now we change sides. Okay? Same thing if you're using your block or you, you find suddenly like this side is a bit tight and you're not comfortable, the hips just lift off this way, just take that block or a thick book, just place it under your hips. Alright, ready? And we lift the arm up to the sky, inhaling, and exhale in the side bend, reach. Lengthen, inhale, exhale to lower your hands down. Alright, other side, inhale, exhale, side bend. 
simple stretch over here, but something that's very important, it's very nice to actually feel um, maybe first thing in the morning, especially rolling out a bit and you do it just a side stretch. And if you find that your, if you notice that your ribs are popping out, okay, maybe don't raise your arms up too high. Just think of keeping your ribs in and get that pure side stretch. So we were working through this angle, okay? One more time, breathing in, exhale, side bending. Very nice. Lengthen up, hands down. One more, inhale, exhale, reach. Up to the sky, inhaling, exhale, lower down. We're gonna do one more with the rotation, okay? Lift on the inhale, exhale, side bend. And we rotate your torso, reaching your hand down. You rotate back again on the inhale and come back up with control. Float the other hand up on the inhale, exhale, side bend again. Good, lengthen and return. Now we do a lot more mobility or a movement through your spine. We'll do something called cat stretch. Okay, some of you might find this very familiar if you've been doing Pilates or if you've been doing actually um, the yoga. Alright, so a similar exercise. Your hands, let's land it directly under your shoulder. Okay, and your knees directly under your hips. Now, if you find like, oh, my knees are not feeling great, okay, this is where your towel or your blanket or whatever soft uh, you can find, even a cushion or pillow. Um, will actually assist you. You can actually kneel on that. So it softens the ground and your knees feel a bit more comfortable kneeling. Alright, once again, I'm going to remove this for now. Okay, place the hands and your knees in line basically in tabletop. Alright, what we're going to do, we're going to take a deep breath in. On the exhale, we're going to drop the head down. Then you run your upper back. And then you feel your mid back and your lower back curling up towards the sky. Alright, on the inhale here, we're going to extend your tailbone up to the sky, arching your lower back, mid back, and upper back. So you're looking up instead. Alright, so the sequence is from the hip. Exhale. Here, we're going to push your hands into the ground and really think of rounding the upper back so you get a lot more of that curl of the spine rather than a, a disengaged position. So really push, push, push. Pull the tummy in towards the spine and lengthen the spine up from the tailbone, arching your back. If you do one more of this sequence, inhale. Exhale, draw the chin down to the chest. Round upper back, mid back, lower back, scoop the tummy and send your tailbone up. Inhale, lengthen all the way through. Now we're going to reverse the sequence. We're going to start from the tailbone. Alright, deep breath in. Exhale, tail first. Oof. That should be a nice stretch. Curling the spine, rounding the back. Keep pushing your hands into the ground and inhale to lengthen your head, lengthen your chest. And then you feel that lower back arching over here. Now remember, we don't want to dig everything down. We want to keep everything engaged away from the ground. Alright, and elongate that spine. Alright, curling the tail once again. Round the back. Drop the hip down and look up. Lift the chest and arch. Let's do one more. And tailbone first. Round. We curl. Draw the head down. Push your hands into the ground. And finish off over here. Head up. Lift the chest and arching. Now we turn your spine back again to tabletop position. We're going to do opposite features over here. So once again, hands are already under your shoulders, knees are already under your hips. They are in line with one another. Okay? We're going to reach your right leg out first. Okay? So extend the leg away. Okay? Now from there, stabilize your body. You're going to reach your left hand out towards the front. Good. And you're going to return your hand and your knee back down. Okay? We're going to switch sides this time around. Like this one, inhale. Exhale, extend your left leg out first. Okay, stabilize your body and now extend your right hand away. Very nice. Okay, we turn them down with control. So if you've got stability, all right, carry on. So we're going to extend left hand, right leg. Imagine you've got a glass of water on your back, your lower back. And it's very stable. You don't even want to tip the water off. Exhale, reach. Return. So we're doing 10 in total. So we've got four down, six more to go. 
exhale to reach out and return. So, if you find that your body's um, what we call it, tilting down, think of rotating the hips and that leg, the tendency is to kick the legs up to the sky. So I want you to think of reaching just to the back. You'll notice that it's not going to be going down to the floor. So just directly behind you and reset. Extend and back. Last two. Return one more time. Reach, exhale and return back. Now we're going to rest your wrist over here. Rounding that spine in what we call a shell stretch or also known as a child's pose. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale to return. Take the breath. One more time. Inhale. And lengthen the spine back up. You're going to sit up over here. Alright. So the next one is something called um, half roll back. So this is one of my favorite exercises to do. Um, especially when uh, you have very tight lower back. But it works a lot in the core. So if that's what you're looking for, let's get to that. So what we're going to do is to have your feet in front of you. You're sitting up onto your sit bones. Now, I know some of us um, can struggle, and I used to struggle quite a bit uh, in sitting up tall also. So once again, use the block or the, um, or the cushion or the pillow or the blanket <laughs> to sit under your bum. Alright, so you can sit up tall. Your hands are reaching out towards the front. You sit up as tall as you can. Take a deep breath here. Inhale. On the exhale, I want you to feel that your pelvis is tucking back. Okay, so you really think of scooping the tummy. Roll your spine back down. One vertebrae at a time. Okay, now we're not going all the way down. We're going halfway only to where you feel like, oh, okay, I, I can't go any further down, otherwise I'll flop. Alright, so this is where you stop. Breathe in. Exhale, we're going to come up and sit up again. Okay, deep breath in. Exhale, roll the pelvis back. So if you find that you need to um, move your feet, move it along with you. And come back up with control. So it's going to be a full breath pattern. Inhale. Exhale, curl. Inhale to stay there. And then exhale to come back up. Alright, inhale once again. Exhale, curl your pelvis, pull the tummy in, reach. Inhale over here. And return. Now we're going to get the flow a little bit better when you're going to do that on two breath patterns. Alright, take a deep breath here. Exhale, curl. Inhale to come up. So we go a little bit faster. Go again, exhale. Okay, take notice of where your body's moving. You don't want to lean back from the chest, or we don't want to curl from the upper body first. We're going to curl from the lower body, lower back. Back up. Good, you got three more. Exhale. And up. And two. And up. One more time. Very nice. We're going to actually add in a little bit of rotation for this one. Breathe in. Exhale. Roll your pelvis back. You're going to lower your hand down. Reach towards the back. Imagine you're by the river. Okay? You're just dipping your water down into the waters, uh, into the river. Rotate. Exhale. And return. You're still keeping that integrity and that movement through your pelvis rather than your upper back. So keep your head up all the time. Roll and reach. Look at your hand behind you. Rotate. And return. Now the front hand stays in line with that leg rather than going aside. Okay, or following the other hand that's going behind you. Okay, exhale, rotate. Inhale, return. Three more. Return. Last two. Come back up. One more time. And return. Very nice. Now we're going to actually make that a little bit different. Um, we're going to curl still. But your hands are going to do a lot of movements basically. I'm like doing a dance right now. Um, but your legs can be out. If you find that once again you struggle with the legs um, straighten, you can keep your knees slightly bent. Okay, your hands are going out towards the front to start. Okay, from here we're going to curl your pelvis in the center. Bring your hands towards your chest. Imagine you're pulling um, a pillow towards you, let's say. Alright, now pull the tummy in. Make sure you get that nice curl of the spine. We're going to reach your hands out towards the sides. From there you're going to press your hands behind you. And dive your head down towards your knees. Okay, from there, you're gonna butterfly your hands up and forwards, keeping your head down, keeping your body rounded. And then you lengthen the spine up, return your hands back to where you started. Okay, let's do that again. Exhale, roll your pelvis back. Inhale, stretch your hands up towards the sides, palms facing behind. Now exhale, press your hands away, diving your head forwards, rounding the back. Now butterfly your hands up. 
and around. That could be difficult for quite a, a few of us. Okay, roll it up, bone by bone. So we're just gonna keep your shoulders healthy by moving it in a different way. Scoop the tummy in, pulling in towards your chest, reach your hands away, and you're turning in your, your shoulders basically over here. You press your hands behind you, pull yourself forwards, butterfly your hands up and around, and bring your hands back up, bone by bone. Okay, you've got two more eggs. You'll pull the hands to the chest. Keep scooping the tummy, reach your hands away, press your hands back down, your hips forward, and butterfly up to the front, lengthen the spine, we do one more time, exhale, scoop the tummy in, pull your hands to your chest, reach your hands out to the sides, now really engage your core, try not to straighten your back, press your head forward to the side, your head down, and butterfly your hands up, and around, and lengthen the spine, Oh my god. Very nice. So if you find that you're gripping a bit in your hip flexors, that's kind of normal, right? But I'm gonna get you to use that a little bit for the next movement, something called teaser preps. Okay, so I'm teasing you into what the, uh, the, the teaser exercise itself. Alright, so here we go. We're gonna actually land your feet down first, sitting up tall, so you can, can tell uh, whether you're on your sit bones or not, basically. So we're gonna actually sit up tall on the sit bones first, then we're gonna roll your pelvis back gently. Okay, just a tiny bit basically. From there, you're going to lean your body back just a tiny bit. Okay? In this position, okay, your body is in sort of like a J shape. Alright? So, you're going to place your hands behind you. Okay? Stay light on your fingers if you can. Alright? From there, we're going to actually float the right leg up. Lower down. Float the left leg up. And lower down. There's no change. Don't disturb your torso at all. Okay? Up and down. Very nice. Now we're going to float your right leg and then your left leg. Squeeze your legs together. That is hard. Okay, if you find it's really hard, lower that foot down and the other foot down. Okay, take a deep breath again. Inhale. Exhale, right leg up. Left leg up. Hold. Okay, lower right leg and left leg. Good. Okay, if your back's feeling a little bit tight, it can come up at any point of time. Right? Otherwise, you're going to do this with me. Okay, one leg up, other leg up. Light on your fingers, we're going to push your thighs away and bring it into your chest. Okay, push your thighs away and bring it in. Now, there's a slight difference between um, moving from the hip and moving from your knees. When you move from your knees, it looks like this. Okay, so we don't want to do that. We're going to move your legs away from the body and bring it into your chest. Okay, away from the body and into your chest. So you notice that there are hip flexors here. Yeah, working quite a bit. Okay, tip and lift. Down and up if you can. Raise your hands out towards the front. Down and up. Down and up. If you're very advanced, basically you can reach your hands up overhead. Down and up. This is tough to hold. Down and up. We've got a total of 10, so let's do two more. One more time. And let your feet down, sit up tall. Feel the hip flexors. I hope you feel the abs are so okay. So if you felt your back, that's not a, a, not really a, an uncommon feeling. But you want to learn to engage a little bit more your lower abs. All right. For now, we're gonna stretch your hip flexors slightly. Slide yourself down slightly on the mat. We're gonna do something called hip rolls. So have your feet about hip distance apart, everybody. Reach your hands up towards the front. Okay, from there, we're going to roll your pelvis back, articulate your tailbone off the ground and reach your knees forward in that reach position. Okay, so you've got your knees, your hips and your shoulders in one straight line. Okay, breathe in at the top. Exhale, come down from the sternum. Your ribs, your lower back. Your sacrum comes down and tailbone shoots down to the ground. Breathe in to prepare it. Exhale, roll your pelvis back, scoop the tummy in, really articulate through. Forward by bone, reach your knees away, everybody. Okay, and when you come up over here, you should be on your shoulders, not on your neck. Breathe in. Exhale, roll it back down, forward by bone. If you find that this is easy, you can place your hands up towards the sky or overhead. Okay, you can opt to do that. I'm going to raise my hands up to the sky instead. Breathe in. Exhale, roll the pelvis back, articulate up, forward by bone. Reaching your knees away. So here we get a stretch to your hip flexors once again. Now do an extra thing. I want you to squeeze your buttocks. Squeeze your glutes. Breathe in. 
and exhale, come down. There you go. All right, in the next one, we're gonna actually keep the hips up, breathe in. Exhale, roll it up, bone by bone, reaching your knees forwards first. All right, now this is the challenge over here. We're gonna keep your feet um, aligned for now. Okay, then we're gonna float one foot off towards the sky. All right, now you gotta level the hips, make sure it doesn't tip over, okay? From there, you're gonna flex your foot, lower that heel, lower the leg. So reach the heel away, your thighs are in line. And then we're gonna point to lift the leg up. We've got 10 times of that. Ready? And let's go. Inhale, exhale, one. And five, you're halfway there, you got this. Six, seven, keep pressing into your right heel, keep your hips square, pull your tummy in. Nine and ten, hold it there, bend your knee, lower the foot back down, toe, ball, heel. All right, now from there, we're gonna change sides. Again, okay? you feel the hamstrings burning over here. Oof. Okay, slowly float it up to the sky. And then we're gonna lower that heel down, lower the leg down, inhale. Exhale to point the leg up for ten. Nine. Eight. Remember, your hands can be here, down to the sides, or up overhead, up to you. Four, last three, two, keep your hips square, last one, hold it there, bend your knee, lower the foot back down, toes, bend the ball of the foot, and then the heel down from there, roll it back down, one, vertebrae at a time. All right, hamstrings are really healing, right? So we're going to stretch it out, keeping your legs straight up to the sky, stretch, good. I'm giving you a few stretches over here. So. Um, this session has a lot of laying down. I remember one of my friends actually saying like she enjoys this session because she gets to lie down a lot. <laughs> okay. And return. So what we're going to do is to stretch your lower back right now. Okay, so you're going to lengthen up uh, the left leg. Pull the right knee into your chest. So drive the knee into your chest first. Good. From there, we're going to send your right leg across. So place your left hand on your knee. Right hand down to the ground. And we're going to bring that right leg across to the left as far as you can. You don't have to force your foot to reach down to the floor. Alright, and your eyes can actually be looking at your right hand. Alright, and breathe. Good. Let's switch sides. Okay, coming back down. Put the other leg up. Driving your knee into your chest so we get that split, that uh, stretch through your hip flexors, through your inner thighs. Good, and then we're going to send your left leg across the body, left hand down to the ground, right foot or right leg reaching to the right side of the body. Can I say right? Sorry, left foot. Okay, we're going to turn your head over towards your left, left hand. Alright, very nice. Coming back in again with control. Very good. So, we're still laying down. Lucky you. Alright, so we're going to actually do a little bit more ab work over here. Um, before we actually go into that, I, I want to teach you a little bit more to, uh, about your pelvis basically. So, um, we want to keep ideally uh, working in neutral pelvis. That's when your, uh, your pelvis here, yeah, I'll, I'll teach you. Heel of the hands actually on the hip bones, fingers reaching up to your pubic bone. If the triangle is actually in line with the floor, that's neutral pelvis. Now, there's a natural cap gap um, in your back for most of us. Okay, I have a slight gap with that. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable working in this position, you can do something called an imprint. So imprint is where you tuck your pelvis back here. Okay, so it's left, um, flattened out, but don't press your spine, your spine down all the way to the ground. So let's tuck your pelvis slightly in imprint. Okay, I want you to lift the right leg up, the left leg up, and you squeeze your legs together over that. Alright, now your hands are going to be reaching up towards um, the end of the mat. Take a deep breath here, inhale. On the exhale, not the chin in, lift the hip, lift the shoulders, overreach your fingers away. Okay, we're going to stay up over here in this position for a while. So if you find that your neck is actually unstraining, you can have one hand supporting your head. Try not to push your head forwards, we're going to actually lean your head back into your hands instead. Okay, so from there, we're going to reach your legs away from the body. Extend out, one, bend your knees, and two. Good. Now, how far or how low should you bring your legs out is to where you can keep your pelvis stable. If you find that you lower the legs down and then you start to arch your back, that's a no-no. Alright, come back in. 
Aim for the legs, go higher instead, and that's okay. Alright, but I want you to feel here your lower abs working. So if you get distracted, it's only your neck doing the work. Hand behind, lay back, and just extend your legs instead. Okay? Good. Now, if you find that that's going to be also very hard, one hand only, both hands also can lie. Alright, that's fine. Okay, just make sure your back is nice and stable. You got one more time. One more rep. Good, bend your knees. And I get you to lie down for just a bit over here. We're going to stay in that position again. We're going to move the arms instead. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, not the chin, lift the head, lift the shoulders, and reach away. Now, palms facing in, and we're going to reach your arms up to this guy, or as far back as you can, as you stay in that flexion. Inhale to lower down. Exhale to reach back. Three. Sorry, I cannot count. That's two, and this is three. And four. That's it. Five. Six. We got four more. Stay up in flexion. Seven. If your arms, or sorry, your neck is actually straining, okay, you can lay down just for a quick bit. You just mobilize your arms basically. You got one more rep, everybody, and up. Return. Lay back down and rest your feet down fast. Okay. So the next exercise is a very classic um, Pilates movement. I'm really sweating like buckets. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna actually go into something called hundreds. Okay. Um, why it's called hundreds because we are staying there for 100 counts, okay? So we're gonna tuck your pelvis back slightly, squeeze your legs together, hands by your sides first. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, not the chin in, lift the head, lift the shoulders off, reaching your hands away. And we're gonna pop your hands here, okay? And breathe in for five counts. And breathe out for five counts. Inhale again for five counts. Exhale for five counts. That's all we do. You can Keep pumping your hands, keep pumping, and keep breathing. Now your legs can extend if you want to. All right, exhale. We're at 40 in two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 50. If you feel the strain in the neck, have one hand supporting your head and keep pumping your hands. 70 in, two, three, four, five. Keep pumping your hands from the shoulder, not from the wrist, okay? Not from the elbow. Exhale, two, three, four, eighty. I've got to balance this out. Exhale, two, three, four, ninety. Last one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, hundred. Hold. Bend your knees. Come up a little bit further if you can, and lay back down. Whoa, that works up a sweat. All right, now we're gonna do one more, but this time around we move the arms. And, sorry, the arms and the legs. Okay, so something called double leg stretch. Let's go back again. This position. Uh, with the legs at tabletop. This time around, your fingers are reaching out towards your shins. Take a deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, not the chin, lift the head, lift the shoulders, reach away. Now we're gonna extend your legs away and reach your hands behind you, okay? So this is a challenge. The lower you go, the harder it is. So if you find it's too hard, bring your hands and legs closer together. Now you're gonna circle your hands around and bend your knees back in. Very simple, okay? Reach your hands up and circle back. Up and circle. That's it. So only your arms get a nice circular movement. All right, your legs go out and in. We've got ten, so we're halfway there. Last five. Inhale to reach. Exhale, circle out. Three more. And two. Make sure your shoulders and your head stays up. And bring your knees into your chest. Lay back down. That's so good. All right. If you don't feel your abs, then I think you're not coming up high enough. I'm pretty certain everyone felt it. So we're going to lay on your side. We're going to stretch your abs over here, okay? So um, you want to support your head with your hands. And we're going to get into what we call a sideline position. Your knees are bent. Your top hand is reaching up towards the front, okay? Let's do something called open book rotation. We're going to reach your fingers up to the sky on the inhale breath. On the exhale, you're going to rotate your torso, okay? Focus on your chest as you reach your hand behind you, okay? Now on the inhale, we're gonna stretch your fingers a little bit further towards that wall. I'm gonna reach that wall very soon, some, sometime today, but maybe not now. Inhale, exhale to rotate all the way towards the front. Okay, once again, inhale to raise it up to the sky. Exhale to twist your chest. Okay, now just drop your arm here. Yeah? So think of your chest rotating, make sure your shoulders do your rhythm work. Reach your fingers a little bit further towards the back. And exhale fully to return to the front. So you've got four reps. Two down, two more to go. Inhale, lift. Exhale to twist. 
good. Inhale to stretch further, 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 further. And we turn it back up towards the front. Now, what you want to notice is that you want to keep your nose in line with your thumb. Yeah, so not your thumb away, not your nose any further, okay? But you do want to actually keep them in line so that your head can rotate, you can actually lead with the stretch. Reach further on the inhale, exhale to rotate all the way to the front without disturbing your hips basically. Alright, now that we're done, we're going to actually do the other side. Okay, so we're going to twist sides. You can't twist sides, sorry, we change sides. <laughs> okay, so lay down on your side once again. Keep the hips stacked one above the other, top hand reaching up towards the front. Okay, if you're ready, take a deep breath to lift your fingers up to the sky. And exhale to twist your chest, reaching your fingers behind you. Inhale, stretch a little bit further towards the wall. Oh, I can reach it so soon. And exhale to return all the way to the front. Okay, so we are actually adding a lot of reaches. Okay, inhale to lift, exhale to twist. So do this intentionally basically. You want to really get that opening to your chest over here. Stretch a little bit further to your fingers and rotate all the way to the front. Nice. Okay, two more everybody. Inhale to lift. Exhale, get that nice stretch. And since we actually spend a lot of time at the desk um, these days, this is a good stretch for us. Raise it up on the in, oh sorry, exhale all the way to the front. Alright, last one everybody. Inhale, lift, exhale to twist, 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 reach further, and then return all the way to the front. Well done. Now we're gonna actually move onto the belly this time around. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of extension basically. So make sure your feet are apart, they kind of turn up the thighs. Place your hands in line with your chest. We're doing something called squat. Okay, your nose is just hovering over the mat. What we're gonna do is to actually make sure your legs are engaged. Don't just like, like flail your legs away, right? I want you to turn your thighs up so you feel the squeeze in your um, hamstrings and also a bit in your bum. All right, we're gonna open up your shoulders on the inhale, driving your elbows down towards the feet. All right, from there, you're gonna lift the head and your chest, pushing into your hands to come up to where you feel comfortable. So if this is your maximum, see that. Alright, if you can go any further, go along with me. Alright, the goal is not to straighten your arms. The goal is actually your spine. So listen to your spine and work your arms with the spine itself. Alright, now from there, come on down. One vertebrae at a time. Okay, so again, open up your shoulders, make sure your legs are reaching to the back. Lengthen the neck first. Okay, from here, lift the ribs, pull your abs in, keep reaching your toes away. If you can come up towards your pubic bone, that's great. You feel your glutes working, mine's firing up so much. Okay, make sure that you're not diving your head down, you're pushing into your hands, lengthen through, and come on down one last break at a time. So what if you, know, uh, if you notice, I'm not actually looking up too high. Alright, once again, I'm listening to my body. From here, it's my mid-back that takes the load. Okay, my upper back is still engaged. And I reach. And we turn back down with control. Once more, everybody. Alright, ready? Open up your shoulders, lengthen up. Press away into your hands. Coming up again to the swan. And gracefully come down. Bone by Oh, very good, okay? So, the next one, we're going to actually lay on your side. Or rather, I'm going to bring you up to your side plank. Okay, so this is rather intermediate if you actually show, uh, go with me on the side plank. Dive, uh, make sure your elbow is directly on your shoulders. Okay, you may actually rest your knee down onto the ground. Or you can go into your side plank. Now, if this, neither of these works for you, one option you can do, just lie down. Okay, the focus here is actually a lot to do with the top leg, lifting up and down but also on your obliques, which you can work in laying down. Alright, take your options everybody. I want to actually go on to a side plank. Alright, with the knee down today. Okay? Alright, ready? From here, shoulder set. Don't uh, dig don't your, your shoulder down into the ground. You're going to push it away, away from the ground. Lift the hips up. Okay, from there, top hand reaching up to the side if you can. 
Okay, we're gonna lift that top leg up, but the foot needs to be active. I want you to point at the top. All right, now flex over here, and then lower it down. Good, point your foot, lift it up. Flex your foot, lower it down, that's it. Now, take notice also, is your leg in line with the body? Okay, if it's too far forward, okay, you'll feel a lot to the front. But the goal here is the back. Okay, I want you to work your butt. So kick it back, flex, and down. Point up, flex, and down. Again, lift, flex, and down. Last two, reach with your head. Good, and we turn, and we're going to rest here for a bit. But we're going to go into a fuller stretch, okay? A fuller work. Side bends is what we're going to go for, okay? Today's version, your top leg is actually going to go to the front. Uh, then your bottom leg is going to straighten up, okay? Make sure your hand is in line with the bottom heel, alright? And if you're ready, you're going to use that top leg to lift you up, alright? And we're going to lift all the way to bend your body towards the left, alright? So I'm putting a lot of weight on my front leg and that's fine, alright? But I've got weight on my shoulder too. And we turn. Alright, very good. Exhale to reach up. We do five of me. Good. And we turn. Now what we're going to do is lift the hips up as high as you can. So lift, 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 lift. And we turn. Very nice. Alright, two more. Exhale. Inhale down. One more time. Exhale to reach, 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 reach. And we turn back down with control. Very, very nice. We're going to change sides everybody. Okay, so back it down. Okay, either on your elbow or lying down, or we go into a full side plank. Okay, if you want to. Alright, so I'm gonna rest my bottom knee down, elbow in line with my top foot. Alright, but rather the bottom knee. We're gonna lengthen up into that side plank, making sure your shoulder is away from your elbow. If you're ready, pointing your foot, lift the leg up, and then flex your foot at the top, lower it back down. Point to lift, flex, and lower. Alright, we got 10. 3, down. 4, down. Good. 5, 6, good. Making sure your hip is working to lift your body up. Okay, keep reaching through your foot and making sure that the leg also doesn't kick forward. Remember, we kick back slightly. Last two. Last one. There you go. Well done. Alright, we're gonna lay, sorry, not lay down anymore. Alright, we're gonna actually go into the side bend position. Okay, so your hand is in line with the bottom foot. Okay, if you're ready, we're gonna push into the top hand. Ready? And put top hand. Top leg. Ready? And lift. Exhale. One. Meter. And we go again. Two. We got five in total. Good job. Keep going. Three. You're pushing through your shoulders, pushing through your top leg, four, you got one more, lift, 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 up, and return with control, good job, alright, now we're going to do the teaser itself, but let me teach you the trick, okay, this is where your blanket, your towel, any long thing that you can find at home, usually we use the bend, alright, I'm gonna use this blanket over here. So we have fold. Okay, the blanket's not good for you, uh, for you to keep warm anymore, like, right? <laughs> okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay, from the top, we're gonna take a seat. Okay, we're gonna hold and grip uh, the blanket as you put the, um, the center of the blanket uh, or the bed around your feet. Okay, remember the teaser that we did earlier when we lift the feet up? We're gonna do that again. Alright, this time we're going to tuck your pelvis back, lean your chest back, and then float your feet off. Okay, so your arms is holding your legs. Makes it a bit easier, right? But I want you to make sure you pull your tummy in. Pull the tummy in, there you go. Alright, ready? Now from there, we're going to roll your body down, one bone at a time. Okay, you're going to drop your feet down, and you're going to lay all the way through. Okay, from here, you're going to knot the chin in. Lift your head. Alright, once you lift your head, bending your knees slightly, you glide your feet towards you, you start to pull with your arms and come up with your abs. 
and your feet and if you can straighten your legs up all right otherwise just hold your legs in a bent position okay all right from there once again roll your pelvis back scoop the tummy in bone by bone dropping your heels down towards the ground as you lay all the way through and side down all right again everybody breathe in exhale not the chin in lift the head notice i lift my shoulders off this then from there, I bend my knees as I come up. This is the hardest point of my upper body already. So once I'm, I go past that already, I'm going to float the feet off using my arms. And if you can, keep your legs straight throughout and lift. Okay? Alright? So if you want to, you can straighten your legs out. Your, sorry, straighten your arms out. Alright? From there, roll your pelvis back. So this is a harder position with the legs straight, your arms straight, and return. Alright, once more, not the chin in, come on up. If you can everybody, let's keep the legs straight. Stretch your arms, lift your arms up, so you lift your legs over here, coming up to that V shape. Alright, so you're sitting back behind your sit bones, breathe in. Exhale, roll the pelvis back, articulate down, bone, by bone. Now I'm going to show you how this is done without the bend. Okay, you can give it a try or you can stick to that if you find that that's quite challenging on this one. Okay? Alright, I'm going to do the full one. So from here, I'm going to raise my hands up to the sky. I'm going to knot the chin in. Alright? Pulling your face in towards the chin slightly. And then once you hit that, um, that difficult portion of your back, pop up, float your feet off, and come up to that teaser position. Okay? Whether you're tracing your legs or not, it's up to you. Alright, this is easier with the knees bent. Now, when you come down, you really want to control rolling down bone by bone, which is the tough part. Alright, lower your feet down and lengthen your body down, hands behind your head. Alright, hands up to this guy once again. Knot the chin in, articulate up, one vertebrae at a time, bend your knees once you get that hard portion, float your feet up. Alright, return back down. Let's do three more reps, everybody. So if you're with the blanket or with your support, um, go ahead and carry on with that. That's okay. All right, the rest of you, you can raise your hands up to the sky. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging, keep your legs straight and float your feet off. Bone by bone. Can you see me shaking? I'm shaking. <laughs> okay, breathe in and roll back down. One vertebrae at a time. So the slower you go, the harder it is. Okay, so Pilates is done actually usually a little bit slower than usual uh, than a lot of other exercises. Not the chin, come on up, float up, focus, feet off, or knees off, come on up, bone by bone, reaching your fingers almost towards your toes, and roll back down, one vertebrae at a time. Last one, everybody. Even if you're with the blanket or your bend, whatever you're holding onto, that's fine. Use your arms to assist your legs up. Use your abs to hold you up from the, the bottom all the way up towards your teaser. That's fine. All right, good. All right, so we're almost done, everybody. What we're gonna do is to get through a little bit of stretches over here, okay? So we're gonna go back again to your. Um, Prone position, laying down on your belly. Alright, so we're going to actually stretch your quads over here. I know um, earlier on, some of you may be feeling a lot of hip flexors. What we're going to do is to lay down, pick up one foot over here. Alright, and then drive your foot towards your knee. Okay, so we're going to stretch your quads, or stretch your thigh, and breathe. Very nice. Good. And let it go. We're going to switch sides. Put the other leg up. Pull the foot in towards your bum. Breathe over here. And release. Okay, from here, you're going to press your hands down into the mat. Push yourself back. Rounding your back over here in that shell stretch. Exhale. Exhale. 
One more breath, inhale. And lengthen the spine back up. One vertebrae at a time. Okay? We'll finish off where we started with the side bend over here. This time round, we're going to add in a little bit of neck rotation. Okay? So, back to the mermaid. Legs are in the same direction. Fingers out to the side. Raise your hand up on the inhale. Look up with your fingers. And then we do a side stretch, everybody. Very nice. Okay, lengthen the spine back up, hands back down, at in a bit of rotation and a little bit of extension from here, side bend first. You're going to twist your torso, place your hands down, alright, from there you're going to kick your back, your top leg away, okay, you're going to lift the chest and extend your spine, alright, so you feel the stretch through everything, your hip flexors, Feel the work in your butt and you feel your chest opening up over here. Alright? If this is not comfortable for you, that's okay. Just move it. Move the legs itself. Just release that. And then come back with the legs. Twist your body back again. And lengthen the spine back up. Let's do that one more time. Okay? Raise it up. Look up your fingers. Side bend. Coming back up. Hands back down. Switch up. Inhale. Exhale. Side bending. Twist. Reach your leg away. Extend. Back. You rotate. And lengthen through. Let's do the other side. So just two reps. Okay? If you're ready, inhale to lift. Look up with your fingers. Exhale, side bending. Lengthen up and down. Other side, lift, side bend, twist your torso, from there stretch your top or your back leg away, kicking my blanket up, lifting your chest, get that nice extension, squeeze the glutes, and return your leg, return your hands, you rotate, come back up, alright, let's do one more, look up with your fingers, get that side stretch once more, Oof. Lengthen up again, hands back down, other side lift, side bend, twist your torso, stretch your top leg away, lifting your chest out, squeeze your bum, come back again, de-rotate back, and lengthen up. Alright, that is all for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I would actually congratulate you for co continuing this core pilates uh, session with me i hope you enjoyed that i hope you feel all the muscles around your core around your glutes a little bit on your arms and your upper back all right if you have any questions you can always reach out to me i have uh, one knee <laughs> on instagram so you can actually ask any questions or pilates or any fitness uh, related or health related questions uh, to me all right that's it for today. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day and stay home and stay safe.